The Phoenix of Persia The Phoenix of Persia is a powerful new retelling of an ancient Persian legend from the epic poem Shahnameh by Ferdowsi about families, forgiveness, and what it means to be truly wise. This hugely ambitious project includes a book written by Sally Palm Clayton and illustrated by Amin Hassanzadeh Sharif, a free resource for schools to borrow called the Shahnameh Box, and an original piece of Iranian music available to stream online using the QR code in the book. The music, which you're hearing now, is set to the narration read by the author. Each character in the story is represented by a musical instrument. Here's author Sally Palm Clayton to tell you more. The Shahnameh is a dramatic epic that's been told for thousands of years and is very, very well known in Iran. The particular bit that is the story for this book is about the sea morgue, who is a phoenix. And the sea morgue is a, is a character that the children know from Russian fairy tales, from uh, Harry Potter, from Chinese mythology, from Hindu mythology. The phoenix is appearing all over the world. And in this story, the phoenix is doing something quite different and unusual. The phoenix saves a little baby and brings the baby up in her nest and teaches the baby many, many magical things. And the phoenix keeps coming back, the sea morgue keeps coming back throughout the Shah Nomei. So this is just one, the first story where the sea morgue appears. We are creating a, a live performance and a recording of that performance to go with the book. It brings the story to life in a very uh, oral way. The palace is represented and you get this grand, spacious feeling. And then you get the mountain of gems, which is extremely crunchy and sparkly sounds. And you get the sound of the baby chicks, you get the sweeping, the fiery tail of the simorgue. Um, and then I'm telling the story through the music, which is the way that it always was told in Iran, and it still is with musicians or the, often the storyteller playing the music themselves. Well, I'm Lada Nushin. Um, I teach here in the music department at City University um, and I've been researching Iranian music for uh, several decades now. Um, and I guess I'm the initiator of this project. My name is Susan Lolivar. Um, and I'm a composer, also a PhD researcher here at City. I work with Lardan, um, partly on um, research into Iranian music. I've then been a kind of creative director on this project for the last few months. Um, and it's been really exciting. It's been really great to work with um, a wonderful group of musicians um, and, and also with Sally Palm Clayton and developing this story. And it's been a kind of living, organic project. Hello, my name is Nilufar Habibian and I'm playing Kanon. Um, Kanon is uh, a Middle Eastern instrument, string instrument. Okay, my name is uh, Arash Moradi. I play this beautiful instrument called tambour. Slami as composer and name player in this project. This is my instrument name and that is how I play. I'm Said Kord Murphy, a PhD candidate in music at SOAS, University of London, and I've been playing this instrument, an Iranian hammered dulcimer called Santur, since the age of six, seven and I'm honored to have the role of the Mountain of Gems in this project. The Shahnameh Box is a free resource for schools to borrow. It's packed with information and beautiful objects that will enrich students' understanding of Persian culture. It includes three books, The Phoenix of Persia, The Ancient Love Story Bijan and Manije, and the non-fiction book Eyes for Iran. There are two musical instruments, a frame drum for children to play, and an Iranian flute called the Ney, one of the sounds featured in the music. A fun matching game to help children identify the different instruments and their roles in the story. Modern Persian miniatures 
and a calligraphy of a poem by Puffers. Colourful phoenix feathers and fragrant rose petals. Authentic Iranian coins, old and new. Tiles showing traditional aesthetics and patterns. There's a beautiful cloth called a terme with a traditional Persian buta pattern to use as a backdrop for your display. A resource booklet full of great ideas for lessons is also included. For more information, visit www.tinyowl.co.uk slash phoenix of Persia.